guys, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life, and on today's episode, we are going to get a big jump on our Christmas shopping by starting to squirrel away some items for our Christmas gift basket. If you've never made a Christmas gift basket before, never fear. I am going to walk you through the process step by step, and we are going to have a blast saving lots of money. So let's go. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. You may have noticed that some of the shelves in stores are getting bare already, and a lot of us are on a stricter Christmas spending budget this year. If you still want to have fantastic gifts on a tiny, tiny budget, I am going to show you how to do that in this gift basket episode. You'll want to start with a container that you're creating your gift basket in, and I am featuring all kinds of adorable $1 gift basket holders from Dollar Tree. They have knocked it out of the park this year. Whatever theme you choose, whatever shape or size. I'm giving you eight great ideas for Chris Christmas gift basket themes. That's hard to say, but I'm also hiding three secret gift basket tutorials within this video that you'll want to watch all the way to the end. Now, these are some tin buckets from Dollar Tree. It doesn't have to be Christmas themed. And I also like to use buckets like this that are multi-purpose and the person can use even after Christmas. If you know that your gift recipient has a special hobby or interest, make sure to pick a container that expresses that. The second thing you'll need for your gift basket will be ribbon of some kind. Now, I like to have a variety of kinds of ribbon, but my favorite is this giant pew bow in the bridal section of Dollar Tree. You actually get two of these for a dollar, and you cannot beat this value. All you do is pull these two little strings, and out pops a gigantic, beautiful bow. They're also carrying a lot of high-end looking bows this year. The third thing you'll want to have on hand for Christmas gift baskets is tissue paper and tape. And then you'll also want some kind of filler for the basket. I like to use this package paper. And the last thing is this clear cello wrap. Now, some people choose to use a cello wrap. That's what I'm going to demonstrate to you. It's a lot easier if you've never done this before. If you just want to grab a few of those basket bags, they have them both in clear and in Christmas themes. And the bonus item is these wooden shish kebab sticks, and you will see how I am going to use these coming up. Our first fun theme I'm calling Glam It Up, and this is all things beauty, pampering, spa-like. And we're gonna start with this adorable little drinking glass that says, Hello Gorgeous, on it. We're also gonna have some snuggle socks, some glue on fingernails, some eyelashes, eyeliner, and a nail file. Now these are all products that I personally have used, and can endorse to you they're great start by making a base by cutting a small piece of styrofoam and i always use a serrated kitchen knife and just hot glue that to the bottom of that glass now if they want to use the glass later that will easily pop out Next, we're gonna take those red snuggle socks. We're actually gonna use the socks as our filler by gently poking them around that styrofoam base. If you're having fun and getting some good ideas, don't forget to let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. Now the fun's gonna start. We're gonna give this little gift basket some personality by mounting each of those items on a shish kebab stick. Now I just hot glue those on. You can also use clear packing tape to attach them to the shish kebab stick. But as you can see, this really takes our gift basket up a notch. And now I'm gonna show you some of my tips and hacks to really make it next level, and that is gonna be in the details. So I love these little birthday party crowns that you'll find in the party section at Dollar Tree, and I use them in a lot of my projects. I'm gonna make a teeny tiny crown, like this is a set for a princess, and I'm also gonna use some of those glitter stars. I found these during 4th of July, but you can find lots of Christmas scatter it's called out right now i'm just going to attach those and glue those all over these packages now we can't let the back of this gift basket be nasty looking so i'm just going to take some really adorable tissue paper with these black polka dots on it and poke it around the back of that gift basket giving it both some dimension and also covering up those shish kebab sticks 
if you've never worked with the clear cello wrap before, let me tell you a couple of my tricks. First of all, it's easier if you have another set of hands. So my husband did actually help me tie this up. You wanna gather the front and the back to the top and you wanna tie a knot with your ribbon. And then secondly, you wanna take the sides of that cello wrap and kind of roll them towards the back and tape them in place. So don't stress over getting a huge piece of cello wrap to cover the whole thing. As long as the front and back are covered, you can wrap the sides around. Now the total cost for this gift basket was only $7 and I think people would pay $15 to $20 for this easily, but you want to make sure to personalize it to your recipient and I am showing you some other ideas of Dollar Tree products that you could easily include in your Glam It Up gift basket. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big welcome. We are so happy to have you here. I don't wanna to say too much about this next gift basket idea because I don't know who's watching, but I have this Mask of the Month gift basket in plan for some members of my family. You can easily find 12 different kinds of masks at Dollar Tree, and for just $12, put together a beautiful gift basket where they have one mask for each month of the year. Now these two items are not from Dollar Tree, they're from Home Goods, but I couldn't resist including them. These cute little coffee signs would totally make a gift basket. These are some other items that are from Dollar Tree if you're on a different budget, but one clue to making a coffee lover's basket is to maybe include some of these items and then a gift card to their favorite coffee shop or a pound of their favorite coffee. Everyone has a pet lover on their gift list and these Dollar Tree boxes are perfect for a pet lover's gift basket. These adorable pet bowls would also make a great centerpiece for your gift basket. You could stabilize your styrofoam in the center and then just have all your items coming out from that base. One little tip when you're getting items from Dollar Tree, I always stick with name brands for pet supplies and always check the expiration date for any kind of food product. I was really shocked to find these dog ball launchers and that is quite a deal for a dollar. Maybe you're working from home this year or you know someone who is. We're going to make a wonderful home office gift basket by starting with this little Dollar Tree Christmas tree that I spray painted. Now these are flimsy little trees. The fun thing about them is you can easily bend them around to make them fit any container you use. I added a little scatter star on top and some blinking lights, and won't this be a fun little part of our office gift basket? Now I'm using some of that paper for packing as my base. This helps to raise up each element of your basket and also makes it look much fuller. The sky's really the limit on what you'd like to include in this basket. I also included some packing envelopes and just all kinds of office supplies, calendars, pens, a cinnamon candle from, from Walmart. And really, I just went around the store looking for things that were the color red. So the color itself can be the theme for your basket. If you work at home, comment below and let me know if you would love these kinds of things in a basket for Christmas, or if you can think of some other items you would love. Now, total cost on this basket was only $15, and you could easily pay $30 to $50 in a store for one of these. Some other fun things to add would be these Christmas-themed air fresheners. Everyone's office starts to smell a little stale after a while. I think these would be welcome. Our next gift basket theme is tech and tinsel, and this is for the tech lover in your life who isn't nowadays. But if you're planning to give a gift card, this is a great strategy to make up a little gift basket for with some of these less expensive items. I love Dollar Tree phone stands. They come in all different colors and all different color schemes. And who wouldn't love these little accessories? 
If you're returning to Skip to My Life, I am so glad to start celebrating the holidays with all of you. I read every single one of your comments and I can't wait to show you all that's coming up. Now, if you have a new driver or a new car owner or just someone that loves to work on their car, Dollar Tree carries all the Armor All products, which are really high end. Your new driver would love having a gift card to a filling station with some of these items in a gift basket. Okay, where are my chocolate lovers out there? That's me. And this last demo I'm going to show you is how to make a super inexpensive but adorable chocolate lovers gift basket. I started with one of those two for a dollar cardboard boxes from Dollar Tree and glued my styrofoam inside. Next, I chose a contrasting color of tissue paper and cut it loosely to fit and just stuffed it to the inside of that box. This is one of my hacks for making your gift box next level adorable, and that is to glue the lid of the box onto a stick. And now we're going to take all of those little candies and glue them vertically to our shish kebab sticks and here we go we're starting the little chocolate lovers basket i originally tried some of these horizontal and some vertical and i really liked all of them going the same direction as well you'll see that i chose to put a sticker over the back of that shish kebab stick just to add a little bit more stability now we're going to simply cut that tissue paper to fit and fluff it up around all those shish kebab sticks now, if you're buying Halloween candy right now, or if you see after Halloween sales, these are great times to stock up for gift baskets like these. You can also order in bulk online at Dollar Tree and have it delivered to your local store with no delivery fee. And if you're interested in doing that, there is a link below in my description box. Once again, the details make the gift basket. So we're going to add some tiny little bows with some baker's twine from Dollar Tree. Okay, the total cost for these adorable chocolate lover gift baskets is only $3. So who could you make these for on your list? You could also include all kinds of different items like s'mores ingredients, hot chocolate, pods, brownies, sweets. This just goes on and on. Today's question of the day, have you made a gift basket? And if so, what was the theme? Thanks so much for coming along on today's episode. As always, comment below and let me know your very favorite idea from today's episode. And until we see each other again, please don't forget this. Today is not the end of your story. Don't stop showing up. <laughs>